Hi friends, my name is Nicole Duslack and I'm the founder of Create Conservatory, a new school in Leesburg that teaches STEM education through arts integration. You can learn more by visiting our website at www.createconservatory.com. If you're interested in doing this Picasso to go lesson today with us, you can pick up your box of supplies at the Leesburg Public Library. If not, you might have some things laying around at home that could do the trick just fine. So today's lesson, we are going to be exploring Jackson Pollock's art and the concept of gravity, two of my very favorite things. So I wanna to start today by reading to you an excerpt from one of my very favorite books. It's the art book for children. If you've never heard of this book, it's so wonderful. And so let me introduce you to Jackson Pollock. What a mess. Drips, splashes, and dribbles of paint are all over the floor. Could you imagine if that happened at your house? Don't do that. Jackson Pollock's paintings look careless and unplanned, but in fact, they are not. He took great care over where the paint would fall and which colors to use. He sometimes made layers of different colors land on top of each other so that the paint was very thick, keeping other parts of the canvas bare. With a flick of his wrist, he let the paint fall off his brush in loops and swirls, splat onto the canvas. Pollock's paintings are abstract, which means that they don't represent anything that we can see, but they do tell us a bit about the artist's energy and emotions. So that's a picture of Jackson Pollock working. And then on our next page, we have a picture of one of his more famous works of art. And so today we are going to be creating our very own Jackson Pollock inspired pieces of art around the concept of gravity. Now, I can't see you at home, but raise your hand if you know what gravity is. Yes, no, maybe, I don't know, because I can't see you. But let's do a quick review in case you don't know what gravity is. Gravity is the invisible force that helps, keeps, that helps keep objects on the earth. So it's what stops us from flying off into outer space. It's what keeps things on our tables. Great example is if you'll grab that marble from your box and hold it out in front of you over your little box that you have for your project today, I want you to hold that marble up and then I want you to let it go. And we'll notice what happens. The marble falls. And the marble falls because the gravitational force on Earth brings that marble back down toward the ground. So that's gravity in action. Today we're going to explore how push and pull of force that is ultimately gravity can help us create some Jackson Pollock style art with our marble. So we're going to begin today by grabbing that t-shirt box or your plastic box, whatever it is that you have at home that's about this size and shape. You want something that has a little bit of a wall. You could even use a baking dish for this if you wanted. So then you're gonna take your sheet of paper and we're just gonna go ahead and place it inside our box. Now, depending on the size of your box, you might need a little piece of tape up here to hold it still, but you might not, either way works. The next thing that you're gonna do is grab some paint. Now, I'm sticking today with our primary colors, which are red and blue and yellow. And our primary colors are the colors that we use to create basically every other color. So I'm going to start by putting a little bit of red onto my paper. We don't want to put too much. We just want to do a little bit of dots. So I'm just going to do one big dot there and two little tiny dots there. The next color that I am going to use is just a little bit of blue. And you can use whatever colors that you want. If you stick to primary colors of red, blue, and yellow, that will allow us to have a talk in a little bit about what happens when those colors mix. So I'm just doing three little dots of blue paint around there as well. And then I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of my yellow. And I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow here in the middle and then a little splat up above. Mine got kind of fell and that's totally okay. You don't have to get very um, picky about this part of our process. So after you have your paint here, 
And what I would like you to do is hold that box up. I want you to take your marble and I want you to drop it into the box. Again, that force that makes it fall from our hand back down to the box is gravity. It's what's keeping us on the planet. It's what's keeping all of our plates and cups and silverware all on the table. It's what allows everything to keep that gravitational pull toward the center of the earth. So we have our marble in our box. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tip one side of that box up toward the ceiling. And I want us to watch what happens. Our marble goes flying to the other side because the force of gravity has taken the path of least resistance. That marble has gone from here down to here. And then I want us to look and see what has happened in my box. The paint has started to spread out a little bit. So I wonder what happens if we keep rolling. So I just want you to take your marble and lift your box edges in different directions. Lift it towards you, lift it away from you. And you'll see what's happening in here is that our marble is working with gravity to spread that paint all around our canvas, which is our piece of paper. So we can um, spread it through those colors on purpose. We can spread it through them by accident and just kind of shake it up. We can get a little, little crazy if we want to. We can be very careful if we'd like. And so then what we can start to talk about is I see red and yellow mixing together and I wonder if any of you at home can tell me what's going to happen if red and yellow mix together. I think I heard someone say it. It's going to make orange. And if we mix red and blue together, I am starting to see in my box some really cool shades of purple. Because if we mix the primary colors of red and blue together, it makes purple. And if we mix uh, yellow and blue together, it's going to make green. So as we explore the fact that every time we tip this box up, that marble falls down because of gravitational force, we have also used this concept to help us create this amazing piece of art. Now, you can add some more paint if you'd like. You don't have to. My only word of warning is don't put too much paint on here because then it just turns into one big blob. But this is the piece of Jackson Pollock style art that I created based on our concept of gravity and push and pull with our marble. So again, we can talk about all the colors that we've created, right? We've made orange, we've made green, we may have made some purple in here. I see all of those colors that were created because our primary colors mixed together, all based around that concept of gravity and push and pull. So I hope that you've enjoyed this lesson with us today. Again, my name is Nikki Deslack. I'm the founder of Create Conservatory. We are a private school in Leesburg. We teach STEM education through arts integration. So we teach concepts like science and math and engineering and reading through dance and drawing and music and movement. And we're so excited that you're here with us for our Picasso to Go series. We hope that you join us again for our next lesson. And if you'd like to learn more about our school, you can visit our website at createconservatory.com or give us a call at 352-460-0621. I hope you're all safe and healthy and happy and enjoy your day.